So um, my made that video I was talking about the working in social housing and that. And I don't know if you don't see the part where I was talking about the tenant went mad on me. Innit? And I knew this would happen, innit? I don't smoke cigarette. I don't smoke weed. I don't want to come out smelling a cigarette and I don't want to come out smelling a weed because if the weed smell is on my clothes, I'm going to go to another tenant's house and it's going to look like I've been bunning. Young black man, you bun weed, yeah? That's why they smoke weed around me because they think that I bun. I don't bun, yeah? So boom. I must have phoned up one tenant, yeah? And I said to him, yes, yeah, the electrician. Um, I'm looking to come around within the next hour. I know I'm early, but is that okay? He said, yeah, come now, innit? I'm, I'm free, I'm available now, innit? Come now, innit? One sec. He's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm free. I'm free now, innit? Yeah, you can come early. Let's say, for example, the appointment was booked for three o'clock. I phoned him at one. I said, yeah, can I come a bit early? He said, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Come now, innit? I said, well, I'm going to go to the wholesalers and um i'm gonna go and get some materials and then come to you these times man's just going to kfc i ain't gonna tell him that so again like i said with black people us british born jamaicans and that we have white names so if a man's name is kevin um i don't know mcgriff or whatever yeah that could be a white man so a lot of the older generation like my mom's generation and that they don't talk like man they kind of sound a bit cockney-ish especially the ones from hackney and that and east london and certain parts of tottenham and that like they sound like, kind of sound kind of cockney like even my mom she sounds a bit a little bit cockney and that but that's just due to her generation isn't it? um but anyway boom so i just think i'm talking to a white man on the phone and i'm not sitting there trying to decipher whether this guy is a black man i don't care in it boom phone him up yeah you can come early in it boom so i'm on this estate and the numbers are all confusing and that, isn't it? And so I'm walking around and I'm like, where the fuck is this number, innit? So boom. I see a black man at the window, innit? And um, I was like, yo, um, I just see a random black man, so I'm asking for direction. Like, yo, where's number? You get me? He's like, it's down here. The entrance to the block is down there, innit? He's pointing to it. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I walked off. He's like, I knew you was a black man. I was like, oh. You're the tenant on the phone. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. I'll see you in a sec. Gone up the stairs, knocked the door. He's busted the front door open. Well, go on, I spotted him. Yeah. Now, I got a bit too relaxed with them man there as well, innit? Yeah. Open up the door to a total stranger as a professional electrician. A man spotted man at the front door. And highly unprofessional, innit? But you know what? Man's unprofessional to that degree. But you know what? Man's the best engineer at my workplace man get all these good compliments and that and oh yeah your electrician was lovely and that so although man talk street and that man get good reports back bear them bear them people literally write emails in to say no that guy was lovely and that. man's the coolest brother at it, and it boom so i went in there went into the guy's yard boom said to the tenant this is what's gonna happen this is how i'm gonna um do the test i need to turn off the power i need you to show me all the sockets are and that and um, he said, yeah, but I need to go and tell my son that you're here so he knows that you need to come in his room. And I said, all right, then, cool. So my man's walked off and I'm standing in the living room and I can see the hallway where the bedrooms are. Isn't it? And he's bust the, the bedroom door open and he's leant in and he's talking very quietly and he's whispering and that. So something worked right to me, innit? Like, this is a bit odd. Now, why is he whispering and that? But you never know, like, maybe the son's doing a night shift and that and he's asleep, innit? So that's not going to burst in his room. Kevin, get your ass cut up, innit? Man, I'm not going to do with him like that. Innit? But man was whispering and that. It's a bit weird, innit? Anyway, cool. But he's like, yeah, you can go in the room now, innit? He's like, cool. Boom. Went into the son's room. Wide awake. So he weren't doing no night shift. He weren't lying in bed sleeping and that. Just young guy. I don't know how old he was, innit? Yeah. But he's just chilling. He's tall, but he's sitting down and that. I didn't realise how tall he was. Until after. Anyway, chilling. Sitting down, I'm like, well, go on in, you good? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said to him, yeah, listen, yeah, if you can just free up some of the sockets in that, because it's a normal bedroom, man's got stuff. So all the sockets are blocked and that. I need to get to them, innit? So he's like, yeah, cool. So I went out, said to the dad, I'm coming back in a minute. I need to go and get my stuff. Boom. Remember I said, black people, they get relaxed around man and that. Yeah? They deal with man differently. They act differently around man than they would if I was a white man, innit? 
boom, come back to the yard now, come back to the flat. The weed starts coming out, man, I'm pulling out weed and that. So I said to the dad, sorry, I don't smoke weed in it, yeah? do you mind not smoking yeah? around me? You know? If you can wait, please, yeah? Man's polite with it. But I knew, even though man's polite with it, I know a man's gonna get pushback from that. So boom, he's like, oh, sorry about that, innit? My man's dabbing out his thing. Cool. So then he came up to me and he said to me, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, innit? Yeah, I'm not being rude or anything, innit? Yeah, but, and he said it like this, my son don't like anyone wearing trainers in his room. I said, oh, it's cool, man. I'll put them on in it. Yeah, like, you don't need to ask or tell me like that. Just say, yo, man, put on shoe covers. It's cool. Come on, I was too soft with it. You know what I'm saying? I, acting like it's not his yard and you get me like, bare soft with it. I'm like, yeah, man, you're cool. I even tapped him on his arm. I'm like, come on, you're blessed, man. He's a big man, isn't he? He's like pushing 60 or something, like mid 50s. So like a little bit older than my mum and stepdad. Boom. I'm thinking like, yeah, he sounds like 30 or something. It's like, boom. I was like, yeah, man, you're cool, man. I put on the shoe covers and that. But to me, it wasn't the type of yard that you need to put on shoe covers, innit? So, boom. Gone in the hallway now. And like I said, in the hallway, there's the two bedrooms and that. And there's a little hallway cupboard with the fuse boxes. So the sun has got the Jamaican flag in front of the door. Yeah. So you literally have to move the Jamaican flag and go into the room, innit? So, boom. So, um... This is the first red flag I knew. This guy's got a little problem and that. Yeah. So boom. I'm in the hallway and um I heard it obviously I'm in the hallway cupboard and that. And I heard the son say, Yo, I might have my stuff in here, you don't bring nothing in the cupboard. Yeah. And just the way he said it, the tone he said, obviously he had to shout to protect his voice, but it's not how loud he said it, it's the way he said it, and I'm like, yeah, that's a bit get me borderline rude and that, but yeah, cool, that's what I'm thinking, innit, yeah, whatever, like that. Something, something just triggered, man, innit, like, you know, when you get that feeling, like, blah, why am I talking like that, like, you could have just said, yo, hey, man, that's my stuff, brother, innit, but obviously, us, we're black, innit, we do each other a certain way, innit, so, it could have been that, but it weren't that, so anyway, me and the dad, they're in the hallway, yeah, and, um, we're talking, I don't know what we're talking about, I hear the sun uh, sparking up a, a zoo, isn't it? So I knew, oh, okay, here we go again. I'm going to have to just say, it. you know, sorry, my friend, I don't smoke. Do you mind not smoking, isn't it? Come on, it's cool with it. Man, not rude with it. Because I know 99.9% of, of people ain't going to say nothing. Um, so, I, and I know some somebody's going to give me pushback in that. Um, because I've had tenants before, like, I asked them to stop smoking politely, you know? They will look at me and think like, oh, this is my yard. I even had an old man say, this is my house. And I was like, yeah, I don't smoke in it. So I knew one day someone was going to give me some pushback in that. But I didn't expect this type of pushback in it. So boom. Like I said, me and the dad is in the hallway talking. And I hear the sun sparking up the, the lighter to light the zoo. So boom. Next thing I know, the sun has come to the, to the, to the door in the hallway. Innit? So like I said, he's got the Jamaican flag in front of the door innit? and he's moved out of the way in it. My man's lit, um, took a pull on the thing in it. And he's as tall as the Ross Cloud door frame in it. Yeah, this guy was fucking tall in it. He didn't look that tall in it. I was surprised when I saw him so, so tall in it. Boom. My man uh, took a pull on the thing and blew it. So I just said to him calmly and politely, fam. Sorry, my brother. I don't smoke. Do you mind waiting until I finish? It's like all time froze for a split second, and my man snapped. I pay right there, you know. Blood, I just had to blast back at him. Like, blood, I'm not going in there with all that smoking. He's like, I'll tell you what you do, yeah. This is my this is my room. I pay rent for this room, yeah. So you can go around the rest of the yard, do your test. I'm gonna smoke in my room because I pay rent for this room. And then when you're when I'm done smoking, then you can come in and then do your test. Is that right, yeah? I said to him, blood. Do you need to do or everything? So, me, at this point, because yeah, I'm not budging. Certain man, I'm telling you, blood, like, if you think that was loud the way I shouted and that, on my life, blood, this guy fucking shook the building the way he shouted in it. I thought I was a fucking maniac. No. Different level. 
yeah? Obviously, you lot see me and like, yeah, Jay's cool, isn't it, yeah? Trust me. People that know me personally and that, they'll know I'm a fucking madman and I've got a temper like a... Like, us Jamaicans is known for having temper. But this you here was on a different level, fam. Different level, blood. Like... Most, I'm telling you, most men would have pissed themselves in it. Yeah, most men would have been like, you know what? Uh, uh, I've got something in the van that I need to get and bust out, blood. Literally, for me, I ain't busting out nothing in it. I'm standing my guts. So literally, are you appearing here and that? Yeah, are you not coming out wherever, wherever, wherever going on mad in that? I said to him, but boy, I'm not going in there in it. Yeah, so literally, there came a time where there was no shouting back between the two of us, and um, we're having a standoff. Literally, we're just staring at each other. Then his dad was like, oh, Michael, please. I'm thinking, blah, why don't his dad just tell him, I shut your mouth, blah. But I know it makes sense to me now, or it makes sense to me afterwards, that um, I, I reckon the son beats up the dad. The dad's small, he's like the same height as me. But this shoe is big, blood. It's like six, probably six, five, six, six, literally. Not a big you. he don't bang weights and that, but he's, a, he's tall, big you. I reckon he beats up the dad. The you is a mad you. Different level of aggression. I thought I was aggressive. No, different level in it. But there was no need for it. It was uncalled for. That's why I think the youths are madman. Because who the hell in their right mind would start shouting just because someone calmly said, I don't smoke you, man. I don't smoke. And I pay right there. Yeah? I'll never forget that day in my life, man. I was, yeah, I'm laughing about it. Now, I was so, listen, you know, I thought to myself to tell him, blood, do you want to go outside like, and swing, you know? Literally, because I don't want to swing no one in their yard because a man might pull out a knife, you know. There's been man in Harringay, so basically in Harringay Council, where man used to work, the night staff that do the night call out used to have to wear a, a stab proof vest, you know, because someone got stabbed by a tenant. Now, I'm not saying that that, that that would happen, but you never know. If you're in a rumble with man, a man might try to pull out something and joke you, innit? The dad might even back it, back him. So now I'm going to have to fight two men, but I ain't worth it, innit? So. Literally, I thought to myself, but I'm going to tell this shoot, let's go outside, bro. Anyway, this shoot, it was mad, yeah? And I know it was mad, just by the way he walks around the yard, innit? So, boom. Um, <laughs> so, I imagine, yeah, after he had this little standoff and that, he just kissed his teeth and went back in his room, innit, yeah? Five minutes later, my man, I hear the curtains open up, window bus open, spraying air freshener. You come outside, yeah, you can come in. Um, how, how did he go from zero to 100 back down to zero again? That's how the youths, man. So anyway, um, but just the way that you move through the yard, and it's storming, like, you know, like, a man just run. You know, like, have you ever seen Jason Voorhees in um, the, them Friday the 13th films where he's just running up, just moving, like, quick? My man just pacing up and down in the yard, just moving stuff and that, like, moving like fucking maniac. And literally, I had my back to the... To where the sun, because obviously I'm in the at this point, like I'm walking around the house and I'm in the um, the, the hallway, in it. Yeah, I'm sorry, the living room. And the way the sun's pacing up and down, pacing up and down, pacing up and down. I'm talking to the dad. I've got my back to the sun. The dad is looking at me, but he's looking through me and past me to see what the sun's doing and that. Like to say, yeah, my man's gonna be tooling up and that. Like the dad is very cautious and wary of this sun. So anyway. This yard was funny as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's how you know it's a fucking small world, yeah? The dad has got bare pictures on the wall, yeah? You know that them little cold, that square, I'm sorry, rectangular picture, bare of them on the wall coming like a rascal like collage and that. This, 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 like the whole of his wall, like, well, like a good portion of his wall in the living room's got that. I went in his bedroom, I'm testing the sockets, bare more photos and that. I think to myself, I know this dad, this guy has been to jail before because it was coming like the Mandem's jail cell. All pictures all over the wall, like 30, 40 pictures and that coming like a rascal at jail. So, you know, let's go to some of the men themselves that have been in jail for a long time. They got all the pictures of their kids and mum and cousins and all them in their memories and that. So, and this is why I say it's a small world. I knew I know who his daughter is. I'm like, oh, that's your um, that that, that I know that girl, her name's such and such. My man just looked at me like. Cause he's thinking, well, if you know my daughter, you might have fucked. Like, no, 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 I'm not even like that. Man, I don't even want to piss no one off again, fam. <laughs> Literally, no, no, I don't know her like that. I just, she knows my little cousin. So my little cousin used to go to a school for Skinners in Hackney, um, in Clapton. But I think they moved to the manor house. So I'm like, oh, yeah, she used to go to that school in, um, in, in Clapton. And that. 
but that's his daughter. I'm like, right, it's a fucking small world, man. But anyway, I know I know the son was mad because after I finished the test, I went out, um, and the dad followed me to the door, and it, as as you do, in it. The dad followed me to the door, and he said, "Hey, like." He followed me to the door and followed me out to the landing of this flat complex. Yeah? So he followed me out of the flat. And he's like, sorry about that, ain't he? Like, he's mad. He's like, basically, he's like, sorry, man. He's mad, isn't it? Like, he was mad. He was mad. But that youth there is not from Northampton. When I was chatting to um, the dad, I said, where are you from? He said, Hackney. So that youth there must be from Hackney because in Northampton, there might be youths that shoot people and that. But his level of aggression, yeah, that don't come from nowhere in it, yeah. That is environmental. Man, learn that. Even like Hackney is the, like the fucking concrete jungle. Literally. That you there, there's man in Northampton that shoot man dead and stab man and that. But aggression is different to being bad and gunplay and knife work and that. That you there, his level of aggression. He has to be from the jungle, literally, somewhere like Hackney. And obviously, the dad's from Hackney, so... Yeah, that you there... Even, even come across like a Hackney you can. Literally. Literally. What a fucking madman. But anyway, who's cool? At the end, before I left in, I went in his room, I said, yeah, man. Later on, he said, yeah, cool, bro. Still at level zero, isn't it? Still at level zero, I actually heard of that guy still. He's on a little mixture of shit, isn't it? That raps in it. But um, yeah, man, that's that's the thing with the tenants and that. And last story before I go. Um, one of the tenants did piss me off the other day, you know. So I went to this tenant's yard, didn't it? He lives around the corner from man. I phoned up the tenant. Black you. I didn't know he was black though. I, actually, I could tell by his name, and he's probably gonna be black. I found out the tenant and I didn't get no answer, innit? but I still went because I always like to pre-warn them because I know they're not expecting this face to turn up to their door. Innit? So I thought, let me pre-warn him innit? As, as, as I do with most people. Innit? Boom. He didn't answer, so I still went, knocked on the door and he's opened up the door. We're talking in that and we're making good, serious eye contact. Me and my man, man like to make st strong eye contact with people, innit? yeah, but it's almost like he, he was trying to come, like, put two and two together. Like, this guy that's at my door is actually the electrician and that, but I can't believe this is the electrician and that. It's the way he was looking at me, isn't it? So he's doing, boom, I'm going to go and get my stuff, yeah, because I don't know if they're going to answer, so I don't bring my bag. I just go on foot with nothing and a pen and a note to put a card through his door, innit? So, boom. So, anyways, like, yeah, cool. Um, so I went, got my stuff, come back. Meaning it was blessed. It was cool. Get me chatting to a man. Come to so basically, um, he's he had a girl that lived in the flat with him, innit? No, no. Obviously, yeah. I don't warn people that I'm black, but people know I'm black on the phone. They, they, white people have told me I knew you were black when you was coming. In. But at least then, like, they know that I don't know. An electrician is coming at least, innit? Because some people book the appointment two weeks and they forget. So at least if I phone and they know electricians coming, I've had people answer the door and like show me ID and that because they don't believe my car. There's no uniform that I wear in it. So boom, um, <laughs> I don't even I don't even remember saying that I warn people that I'm black. But anyway, <laughs> exactly a joke. And now they're jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah, I've gone, got my stuff, come back to the yard. Now. He must have told his girlfriend, oh, uh, these electricians come in here or whatever, innit? Yeah, he's here now. Don't go in the shower. Because once he turns off the power, you can't have no shower, innit? Yeah. So anyway, she went and jumped in the shower, innit? It was cool. So um, he said, oh, fuck, man, I told her not to go in the shower, innit? Yeah. So I was like, look, it's cool, man. How long is she going to be in it? He said, 10 minutes. I was like, is it 10 minutes or is it a black person 10 minutes? I was like, yeah, make sure it's a normal 10 minutes, not black people 10 minutes. So he was just laughing and that cool in it, boom, told her 10 minutes. And that, boom. So anyway, I was like, cool, I've got paperwork to do in it. So I'm standing in the hallway, and obviously, when the girl comes out of the shower, she has to walk past in it. So after the 10 minutes was done, he said, yo, come, come for a sec. Can you come into the, 
into the lounge or into the living room and that, innit? Because basically, you don't want me to see her walk around with a towel on it, which is cool. So, boom. Gone in the living room now, and he shut the door, innit? But he said to me, nah, you don't need to go in the bedroom, innit? He, he said to me before, innit? Nah, you don't need to go in the bedroom, innit? Some of these tenants, they live dirty, and their bedroom is mad, so they're embarrassed, innit? So he said to me, you don't need to go in the bedroom, and that, innit? So I like, cool. But I'm not going to argue, no one. I don't care, innit? I'll just write down on my thing. Tenant refused to let me in the bedroom. And throughout this contract, I've had that a lot, especially during COVID as well. When I was testing people's houses, they didn't let me in their bedroom for some mad reason. Like, they were like, you can go in those two up there, but that one there, he ain't going in there. Yeah, cool. So anyway, he told me already, oh, you can't go in the bedroom. And that. But I kind of thought it was because, oh, he's going to hide the girl in the bedroom. Like some man, like, listen, man, a good looking man. So some man might, might feel threatened. You get me like me around there, girl, and that like to say, I'm going to get their fucking number in front of them. Yeah. Like, that he's going to go piss and she's going to drop to her knees and pull down my trousers or some nonsense and that. So anyway, I thought he kind of asked me to go in the, the living room and shut the door. So obviously I can't see her. And also to hide her in a room and say, don't come out. There's a good fucking, ele good looking electrician or whatever. So anyway, boom. Because this guy's the same age as man, isn't it? Like, I say he's probably two years older than man. Or a year older than man, definitely. But obviously, you know us black man, innit? We don't look our age. Boom. So um, the girl's gone in the bedroom. I'm in the living room now, innit? Um, the living room and the kitchen's open plan. So boom. Um, I'm doing the paperwork and, that, and me, I'm really observing and that, innit? So I see his fridge and I see he's got a couple Jamaican um, magnets. You know, like the fridge magnets. And that. So I say, oh, what, you're Jamaican? Yeah, like, man, yeah, you, but you're born here. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, like, oh, I'm Jamaican as well. Cool. So I'm chatting now, and um, I say, you've you been? And he's like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, you can go. I don't like it, but you try it out because you might like it. But I don't like it because I'm from a city. And for me to go to a slow country, slow island is long. It's like, oh, so you're from London? Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're talking now, talking, isn't it? Yeah? And there's not much really to tell uh, what happened in the yard and that. Like, I just said to him, like, we was talking about Northampton and that, and I said oh, how dead it is and that. And I said, yeah, this area is not safe, you know, like, and I'm not even talking about gangs. I'm talking about, like, there's this bare dodgy man around. Like, I will tell my girl, you're not going out, walking around in the dark. Forget about what time it is. And my girl will try to say, oh, yeah, like before, she's like, oh, I'll be leaving to go to the gym for five o'clock, which is light during certain parts of autumn and that. But then when she's coming back at seven o'clock, it's pitch black. No, you're not going then. You need to drive your car, innit? Like, you're not walking because... In this in this area, yeah, it's not bad as in it's not it's not dangerous in terms of gang violence and that. But I'll be about when it's dark, whether it's late or in the winter, and I just see man just hanging around doing nothing, you know, on their own. Not six, seven man bunny weed drinking. No, just one guy just hanging around, look like he's waiting for something. Just weird dodgy guy. We don't have that in Edmund. We don't have a dodgy man just hanging around in Edmund. Yeah, you more likely get stabbed and killed than that. But well, girls ain't gonna get attacked like that in Edmund. So I mean, boom. So I said to her, yeah. So we were talking about the area. Then the girl actually came out. I was like, oh wow, I'm surprised this girl came out. And I didn't even look at her straight away. So anyway, boom. So um he um yeah, so anyway, so the girl's in the, the kitchen next to me, doing what she's doing, washing up and that. Um, and then um I said to him, yeah, this area is not safe because I don't think, because I see a man hanging around, it's not safe for women in there. And he's like, I told you. He shouted the girl, I told you, Daniel. I said the same thing. I said, yeah. So I'm like, and then I turned to the girl and I said to her, yeah, listen to my man because you get me, I'm not even from this area and I'm saying what he's saying. And she was like, yeah, cool, isn't it? Bam. Um, I think we saw my boxing as well, we saw my Muhammad Ali and that. And then boom, I left. And that was that. So, my man's born and bred in Northampton. He knows the area like the back of his hand, yeah? Northampton is a small area, and it? It's not like London. It's like the size of the m boroughs. So I thought to myself, you know what, yeah? And during the conversation, sorry, he asked me, oh, why did you come up to Northampton to keep out of trouble? I said, no, 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 man bought a property in that. I actually live around the corner. I live around the corner from you, innit? He's like, oh, what, you live around the corner, yeah? So, what, man can get things patterned. Like, you can come sort out the electric, you can't pattern up the electrics if I have problems. I was like, yeah, man, call me in it. Yeah, say my number, whatever in it. Boom. So, right then and there, he's using words like pattern. 
So when I heard him say that, I was like, oh, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, you man are talking like us now, yeah? What? The London lingo's made its way up to Northampton already, yeah? Talking about pattern and that. Oh, you're talking like man. Cool, I'm gonna deal with you like you're talk like your man, because you're chatting like man, innit? Yeah? So man will chat to you like your man, then, innit? Yeah? Do you, if you're talking a certain way, man's gonna perceive you and deal with you a certain way, innit? Yeah? Cool. Bear that in mind, innit? So boom, two weeks has gone past, innit? Yeah? And um, yeah, I thought, you know what? Yeah, let me phone up this tenant yeah, to ask him. Um, I'll, I'll get I'll get back to you in a sec here. Yeah? I won't forget you. I thought to myself, let me phone him because he's from Northampton, born and bred, so he knows the area. Isn't he? I thought, let me phone him and ask him who's the best person to get a haircut from. So I phoned him when I was driving, but I didn't get no answer in it. Then I'm in my yard, sitting down right here in it. This is the king's throne. Yeah? That joke is just a little white table and a normal bike here, chair. It's boom. Sitting down and I see an unknown number, 07, whatever, pop up on my phone in it. So I, I clocked, oh, it's probably him in it. So I didn't have his number saved in my phone, but I went through this, um, my job sheet and then got his number in because I remember his name. So anyway, I've answered the phone and he's like, hello, who's this? And I was like, yo, it's the electrician, yeah? Are you listening, yeah? Because I'm chatting to him like, man, you talk about, you want to talk about, oh, yeah, trouble and yeah, get um, get things patterned up. Like you're talking like, man, oh, you're talking like your, your street, yeah? Okay, cool, I'm going to deal with you like your street, man, innit? Because you're talking like, man, so I'm going to deal with you like your man, then, innit? So, boom. He's like, yo, who's this? I'm like, oh, yo, it's the ele electrician, yeah? Are you listening, yeah? Who's the best person in Northampton to get a haircut from, innit? Like, I don't even care if the man want to charge £30 and that, but... Yeah, I me mean, like I said to you, innit? Like, man, go back on the weekends and that. But let's say, for example, I don't want to go back, but I want to get a haircut, innit? He's like, I don't even know who the best person is to get a trim in Northampton. I don't get trimmed by no one in Northampton. I um, get my bread into a trip. So I said to him, so when he said to me, ah, oh, you don't know who to get the haircut by. So I said to him, so who'd you get your haircut by? He said, my bread, you innit? I said, oh, all right, then cool. I was just going to leave it at that. But he's like, you know what? I'll get my bread's number for you. When I get it, I'll shout you back, innit? Cool. Put down the phone. That was it. Two minutes later, I see unknown number pop up on my phone. Answered it. Put on a loudspeaker. Hello, is 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 this the electrician? I say yeah. He said no. Nah, don't don't phone my phone again. I, I, delete my number in it. I said blood. You serious? He said yeah. I said blood. You're joking, right? He said no. Nah, delete my number. He looked at my phone. But you know, I had to laugh it off. You know, I was not laughing. Man. I was fucking vexed. But I'm like, I'm like blood. Why am I? Like, why am I moving so funny in that? Like, now maybe, come man's really trying to dissect this thing and break and try and get into the mindset of this shit. Now, this shit does burn weak. I see all the paraphernalia and that. I didn't see a weed grinder, but I see tobacco. And black man do not smoke tobacco on this one. Black man burn weed. But literally, man's trying to get into the science of like, and the mindset of why this guy thought he had to phone me back and tell me, don't phone my phone. Now, maybe, maybe man spoke to him a bit too loose, like, Yo, you're listening, yeah? He's the best barber in Northampton. I get it. Because, like, my girl was over here in the conversation. She thought I was talking to one of my friends and that. No, I don't even know this guy. It's just one of the tenants and that. But the reason why man's talking to him like that is because you're trying to talk like man, so I'm going to deal with you like your man then. I'm not phoning up no young black man that's the same age as me and saying, oh, 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 hello, excuse me, it's the electrician. Sorry to disturb you. You know what? If I feel like I need to talk to another black man like that, I'm not phoning you. I'm not phoning you. Fuck it. Don't get twisted. If he was white, I would have phoned him and said, oh, hello, it's the electrician. Sorry to disturb you and that. But you know what? I see him as that man. You get me? He's young Jamaican and that. He's talking like, man, I'm going to deal with you that, man. Man, I have to flip the switch on, flip the switch on, man, and say, oh, uh, delete my number. Uh, don't phone me back again and that. Like, Whoa, what going for my man? But during the time I was there, like, like I said, man, make eye contact with man, innit? I feel like at the same time, although we're having a friendly conversation, and that the look we're giving each other is like we're having a standoff. Like I said, when man go to these bike meetups with the man there, man, man, there's like 30 man, but I always find one guy that me and him is having a standoff, look or mean mugging contest. Literally. Literally. And that's, that's how I feel like when I'm working with some of the man them on, on these jobs. Every, every now and then I'll, I'll come across man them on jobs and that. And I just feel, oh, here we go again, innit? Like, they're just going to act up. They need to show off. They need to show me that they're, they're, they're a bad boy. They're a bad boy. I went to one Somalian fam family's house, innit? And um, 
I asked them, do you want to put on shoe covers? They said, yeah. So I went in the son's room. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my, my, my dinner's nearly, my dinner's ready, basically, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to come off the live stream in a bit. Um, yeah, went to some Somalian family's house. And um, I went in the son's room. And the son is not no little boy, a big man. He was even big as well. He's like six foot five and he looked a little bit of weight on him. He wasn't no lamppost or nothing. I'm talking to the sister in the hallway and he comes out of the bathroom and he just, just I can, you don't need to see someone staring at you, innit? But like me, I'm not going to turn around and say hello, innit? I just think it's stupid when man are just watching you, waiting for you to just, just turn around and say hello. And so I even say hello to him, innit? I just see him in the distance, just staring at man, innit? Like probably looking in disbelief. Like, is this the fucking electrician? This guy is like someone off the street, innit? They're just watching or whatever, innit? Next thing I know, this guy's going downstairs, having a big argument with his mom. Why is he coming in my room? Why is he coming in my room? I'm like, ah, oh, get me out of this fucking place, innit? Before man, I end up kicking off with one of the tenants. And that like, man just act up. Why are you going downstairs having an argument with your mom? Because the electrician went into your room to do a test on your socket for one minute. That's the same black man, they just act up. Man just act up. Literally, man just act up, blood. Like. Went to one, one tenant shard yesterday and I thought I was going to have problems with them. Just because they're young, they're black and they need to show me that they're gangsters and that. But it was actually cool. Phoned up this tenant and I said, yeah, I'm coming to your, your property and that. And yeah, like, you gonna, I'm on my way. He's like, yeah, I'm in the town centre. I'll see you there five, seven minutes. Five, seven minutes. If you know where the town centre is and where this guy lives, he would have to be flying in a fucking drone to get to his yard uh, in five, seven minutes. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Got to his yard, phoned him. Um, I said, whereabouts are you in it? Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, I'm five minutes away. Gave him 15 minutes, phoned him back. Oh, I'm in the Ford Focus. I'm in a white Ford Focus. And I did see a white Ford Focus. So I thought, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I can see a white Ford Focus in it. I'll, I'll be there in two minutes in that. And I was like, oh, man, if I can see the white Ford Focus, I can be there in two minutes. Five minutes later, him and his you. Jumped out of car and they came over. Literally, no, these are a proper road, but him, anyway, he was a proper road, you. Now, like, it was a jail, you. Definitely, it was a jail, you. But we were cool. We were cool. But I did think to myself, like, oh, these lot are going to start acting up because they feel like they need to show off in front of my name. So, boom, when I was in the flat now, obviously, man's gone inside the flat and I can smell weed in it. So I'm like, yep. Uh, meets the description, fits the profile and that. Then I see the bridging. Rolling up and that ready, look like he's ready to spark it, innit? And these lot, they look like, I was with myself, because I'm going to stall out them, like, do you mind, innit? Yeah, I was really expecting these lot to kick off, yeah, because man are just act stupid and that. Like, oh, man can't come in my yard and that, innit? Yeah. But man going to stall, say to them, look, do you mind, innit? Yeah, man not going to say, you know what, yeah, these lot might kick off and that. Now I'm going to stall, find out to see how they're going to react to the situation, innit? But um, luckily, one of them, he actually went outside to start burning weed. And, but yeah, we were just chatting and that. And then he was like, yeah, 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 man, take my number and that. And I said, oh, because I told him about that story with that um, that guy. And I was like, yeah, I'm not even want to chat to the man in Miranda because the man in Miranda are funny. And I told him the story. And then, um, yeah, he's like, yeah, take my number, don't you? I said, all right, then cool. If I phone you, you're not going to tell me to delete your number. Really. And he laughed, in it? So, yeah, I put my number in his phone and that. And it was just yeah, man, that's 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 it, man. We are our own worst enemy, innit? Like, literally, the people then think, oh, the biggest killers are a black man, is it? Or white people in the police. No, it's another black man. It's another black man. Man said in a video before, innit? I had one ex-girlfriend who was Indian, and she went to prison to see her older brother. And he said, oh, that guy over there, um, he's another Sikh guy. He killed such and such and that. And my girl, at the time, the ex-girls come back to me and say, oh, my God. I went to go and see my brother, because they're all Sikhs and that. I went to go and see my brother, and he told me about this guy that killed some other Sikh in another area in, um, what's that place called? Southall. And she was like, oh, how can you kill your own? I was thinking, blood, that's normal in the black community. Most of the black people that get murdered is by black people. Blood. Yeah, in this country, where we're the minority, you would think the numbers would suggest that Black people being a minority in this country would get killed by the majority, which is white people. No, the minority get killed also by the minority. 